are female video game characters allowed to be attractive? Now, this is a very tricky question. If you ask this question to a normal person, they'll say, yes, of course, a video game character is allowed to be attractive, right? But if you ask this question to like a feminist, SJWs and others like that, they'll tell you that it's not okay because it's sexist and it sets an unrealistic expectation of the female body. So today I'm going to give you my reasons as to why it's totally 100% okay for a female video game character to be attractive. Reason number one, attractive women do in fact exist. Now I know this may come as a real shock to all the feminists out there since most of you and your friends are morbidly obese ugly women with short dyed hair. But attractive women do in fact live among us and I actually would say that most women out there are to at least some level attractive. It's just that most hardcore feminists tend to be incredibly fucking ugly. I wonder why. It's almost as if they are upset with men for not giving them attention because they're fat and ugly, but that somehow is our problem. And now they're trying to push these fucking plus-sized models and are trying to force us to find overweight women attractive. Even though most men think overweight women are ugly as fuck, which they are. Oh my god, Atomic, stop fat shaming. I'm not fat shaming. Okay, you if you don't want to stop shoveling cookies down your throat, 100% fine by me, mate. But if you are then going to force me to find overweight women attractive and force me to support you in your suicidal mission of dying from a heart attack at 34, at that point, you're going too far because I'm still allowed to have an op opinion about you being morbidly obese. Like, for example, I would never date a morbidly obese girl. Okay, mainly because I get scared that if she suck in my dick, and she get hungry, she gonna bite that shit off. And I don't need that. I know I'm going on a bit of a tangent here, uh, but I really want people to know how bad this shit has gotten, uh, especially since I feel I'm gonna get judged a lot for this video. So here is a clip. I just want you to watch the clip very carefully. So yes, if you work out strictly for appearance-based reasons, you are fat phobic. This was a very short clip from a pretty popular TikTok video where this girl tells us that if you go to the gym specifically to get a better looking body, you are discriminating against fat people. This shit has now come to the point where if you are attractive, that is discriminatory against people who are ugly. That's such bullshit. Anyway, boys, the tangent is over. Reason number two. So, you know, these people are always saying how video games portray an unrealistic expectation of the female body. Because we all know that men all look like Marcus Phoenix and Duke Nukem, Solid Snake, Kratos. This is just what all men look like. There's no shortage of male characters in games who are meant to elicit disgust, but the unsettling nature of those characters is not tied explicitly to their gender. They don't function to suggest that maleness itself is inherently disgusting or dangerous. With these female characters, on the other hand, their grotesque nature is inextricably tied to their gender. Elements that are often presented as titillating in other contexts are twisted and made repugnant so that their femaleness itself is what serves to make them disgusting. Okay, so I censored the titties, but essentially what she is saying is that if you make a female character too gross and disgusting of- There's no shortage of male characters in games who are meant to elicit disgust, but the unsettling nature of those characters is not tied explicitly to their gender. They don't function to suggest that maleness itself is inherently disgusting or dangerous. With these female characters, on the other hand, their grotesque nature is inextricably tied to their gender. Elements that are often presented as titillating in other contexts are twisted and made repugnant so that their femaleness itself is what serves to make them disgusting. Okay, so I censored the titties, but essentially what she is saying is that if you make a female character too gross and disgusting, obviously you're just twisting their femininity into something evil and gross. And, you, and they don't do that with male characters. Yeah, you can't really do that with male characters now, can you? Because men don't have tits or like an, an obvious male body part like that. I mean, we have a cock, but you can't have a bunch of video game characters running around with their cock out. Okay, so what we've established right now is that if a female video game character is too attractive, then that is sexist. 
but if a female video game character is too unattractive, then it is also considered to be sexist. Wow, it seems like the only solution is to make female video game characters incredibly fucking bland and unoriginal. <laughs> this seems like a perfect fucking segue into reason number three. And of course, for reason number three, I have another fun little clip. Uh, this is a very recent clip. It's, I believe, from two weeks ago. Let's check it out. One thing, I know you were talking about the, the character from a bygone era. Uh, I do think the character model was actually like very distracting in not a good way because like they put the camera angles chosen. It just felt like this game seems like a, a game that came out in like 002 in terms of its, you know, like character design. It's like a bit old and, and not flattering, I don't think, for a modern audience. In comparison to something like Forspoken, which has, you know, uh, I mean, yes, it has a much more realistic looking character designs. Uh, it's not these hyper proportioned uh, something or another's, but it also seemed, I don't know, a bit more grounded in a way that I found much more appealing than what we saw here. Okay, so here we have the people from Digital Foundry describing two different female characters from upcoming games, Project Eve and Forspoken. The design from the character from Project Eve is described as being outdated, unflattering and hyper proportioned. While the character from Forspoken is described as grounded, realistic and more appealing. Personally, I would describe these characters as cool and attractive and bland and boring. Now I want to elaborate a bit more on my opinions here by taking a deeper look at the character design. Now let's start with the character from Project Eve and how she supposedly is hyper proportioned. Now I don't want to deny that she is incredibly slender, but she isn't really unrealistically so. Like all you have to do is type in on Google female K-pop idols and you get a bunch of women with the exact same body type as her, wow. There were also a bunch of people that compared her body type to like Megan Fox, so yeah, she isn't that unrealistic. Now let's look at the rest of the character design from the main character of Project Eve. She's actually interesting to look at besides the fact that she's just attractive. Like, her character design is colorful, there's interesting details about her, like she has this blue little bow tie, she has mechanical hair. You can't really see it in this picture, but in the gameplay you can see that she's like glowing and shit and there's these lights uh, in her clothes. Now let's take another look at the character for Forspoken. She isn't ugly or attractive, she isn't like colorful or anything, she's just bland and basic as fuck. I have looked at multiple pictures and at all the gameplay for Forspoken, right? Her main color scheme for the clothes she wears is black, grey and beige. It's so like uncolorful, nothing. Like there's nothing interesting about her character in like, I guess, the other world or whatever because it's like some isekai shit. Either like she, she wears a cape and she got a lot of bracelets. That's about it. There's nothing really memorable or interesting about it. Like, she doesn't have, like, mechanical hair like the other girl has. There's nothing here. There's nothing interesting or noteworthy about the design of the character in Forspoken at all. Now, I know that some of you might be wondering why it matters if the character is very colorful or very interesting as long as the game is good. Uh, well, mainly it is because these are third-person games. And I have to stare at this character for like 30 hours when I play the game. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather stare at something interesting or attractive than at something ugly or boring or bland. I mean, I guess like uncolorful, bland character design, I suppose, can work. I know plenty of games uh, that I like where the character's design is very bland. But in those cases, usually... Like, the dialogue and the story is very strong. I don't know about you, but when I watched the Forspoken trailer, there was maybe like a minute's worth of dialogue in there. And even though it was so little, it was so fucking cringy <laughs> and so fucking bland and inoffensive and just borderline stupid that it made me not want to play the fucking game. But that's a whole different topic. Anyway, my final verdict is... 
Women in video games are in fact allowed to be attractive because men in video games are also most of the time very attractive and that's okay because it's a video game and we have to stare at these characters for fucking hours and most of the time I'd say that it's not even really like a bad representation of human bodies or female bodies because these bodies are achievable you you can look like this just stop eating fucking cookies it's not like barbie be where like women are physically incapable of looking like barbie because they die that's how skinny barbie dolls are and i guess you could say well this is uh, just continuing the narrative that women have to be that skinny to be considered attractive which no it really depends on what the other person thinks is attractive <laughs> like yeah most men find slender women to be more attractive than you know fat women but there are guys out there that do like fat women and you know you can also always stop eating cookies and go to the gym not that you have to if you don't want to do that fine by me just don't complain if people don't want to fuck you okay end of the video uh goodbye please like and subscribe if you liked the video though and please let me know how was my first video essay type of video i suppose uh yeah goodbye <laughs>